All right, if you were to replace the four resistors we see in the circuit below, what would the one single resistor be? So in other words, what's the equivalent resistance of this circuit? Now, if you like, you can imagine there's a battery right here at the beginning. We don't need to have it in there, but it just helps you organize what's series and what's parallel. Now, my preference is to go as far away from the battery as possible. Sometimes you can't do that, but in this case, we're going to look as far away as possible. So I've got this 4 and this 13.9. And you'll notice the top ends are both connected together, as are the bottom ends. There's a direct path from the bottom of the 13.9 to the bottom of the 4. So we say that those two resistors are across one another, so they're in parallel. So these two are in parallel. So if I simplify the parallel section, I use my formula for parallel. 1 over R parallel is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Or 1 over R1 is the same thing as saying R1 to the negative 1. So I want to go 4 to the negative 1 plus 13.9 to the negative 1. And you'll recall on earlier videos, I showed you that button on your calculator that's x to the minus 1. So I would just simply enter 4, x to the minus 1, plus 13.9, x to the minus 1. And just remember, that's not your answer. That's 1 over your answer. So whatever you get when you add 4 to the minus 1, plus 13.9 to the minus 1, you still have to flip it one more time. Let me show you what I mean. So when I go 4, x to the minus 1, plus 13.9, x to the minus 1, that gives me 0 0.32, a whole bunch of decimals here. 32194, that's probably enough. But if I want RP, I've got to go x to the minus 1 of all of this. So in other words, RP, if you cross multiply, is 1 over this number. Which is the same thing as this whole mess to the minus one. So as, as long as you remember at the end to flip it one last time and it becomes an answer that looks like this. When I flip it one last time, my parallel section simplifies to 13.11. Sorry, 3.11. It's uh, interesting to note that in parallel, your answer is always going to be smaller than your smallest resistor that's in parallel. So it's going to be smaller than the 4 ohms. It is. We're good to go. Now, you can continue. If You know, you can do this any way you like. But if you like, I'm going to just simplify the circuit now. I've still got my 1 ohm resistor at the top. I've still got my 7 ohm resistor at the bottom. And I've replaced my parallel with one simplified resistor. That is 3.11. So all of this stuff that I circled up top has been replaced with 3.11. That's the equivalent parallel section. And now we see a simple series circuit where I just add them together and I get my total resistance is 1 plus 7 plus 3.11. And they're all in ohms. And you end up getting 11.1 ohms for my total equivalent resistance. So if I replace all those resistors with a single resistor that's 11.1 ohms, the same current will be drawn from the battery.